वेलकम जी लेट्स स्टार्ट कॉटलिन ट्यूटोरियल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द फंक्शनल इंटरफेस हाउ व्हाट डू मीन बाय फंक्शनल इंटरफेस एंड हाउ वी कैन यूज फंक्शनल इंटरफेस एंड आल्सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द लैम्डा एक्सप्रेशन how uh, this functional inter interface is help us uh, to define lambda expression and there are some example also we discuss so uh, in the last uh, session we have discussed about the interface how we can define an interface similarly functional interface is also an interface but uh, there is a in those interface you can say uh, an interface which only one abstract method is uh, called a functional interface that means you define a interface and in this interface you define only one abstract method so that uh, interface known as a functional interface or sometime known as a sam uh, single abstract method okay sam interface sam interface single abstract method interface functional interface uh, can have a several non abstract member but only one abstract member so please be sure any interface <coughs> excuse me we can define a member uh, function maybe abstract method and non abstract method uh, so be sure if you are going to declare any functional interface you define other member but the only one non abstract method so uh, how uh, kotlin offer you can declare interface okay so syntax is the same as into you use, use the keyword your interface and uh, whatever your interface name and you can see you define this is your abstract method uh, this is the only one single abstract method okay so this is the functional interface but kotlin offer a uh, concept how kotlin compiler know that this is the functional interface or not this is normal interface so making uh, differences between the normal interface and functional interface uh, kotlin say we can use the fun modifier okay if any interface have a fun modifier that means this interface is a functional interface you can define only one abstract method here if you are trying to define more than one interface here compiler doesn't tell you let us hear let's uh, we have write a uh, interface i interface okay that is the syntax here you can define fun let's keep full so uh, here uh, this interface fun but uh, let's uh, here we can define a uh, fun who bar okay compiler allow you can define uh, multiple uh, your uh, abstract method inside the interface but this is not a func functional interface functional interface should have a only one abstract method so how kotlin compiler ensure key word defining functional interface kotlin say you can define any interface with a fun keyword one modifier now this is a functional interface okay whenever you define a functional interface that time compiler uh, you can say in sorry fun interface must have exactly one abstract method so this is the way kotlin compiler ensure ki how we can define your functional interface or sam interface it's clear so here you cannot define more than one abstract method so cannot define more than one abstract method in functional interface so now face so it's clear so this is the way you can define uh, so as you know ki how if you are defining interface some class 
may be implement and provide the definition of foo how we are going to use this foo okay so in general way uh, uh, we are in general what with you are writing a class maybe my impl class so your uh, x implement my interface my interface and here you are going to override your function here say print ln i am in i am pl class okay and in now you you can create the uh, object you know key bell obj one equal to uh, my class and here in this way after that uh, uh, maybe you have a one uh, function function let's key use interface use interface uh, that uh, take your uh, uh, well input of type my interface okay so here input and here say key input dot fo function so here you can invoke your use interface and pass your object one object so this is the way uh, you can first define your interface second provide the implementation and third use of your interface so let us uh, talk about the um, same uh, single abstract method uh, for the functional interface you can use the single abstract method uh, that help uh, your uh, code more concise and readable using the lambda expression so this is the starting point uh, a lambda expression lambda expression is uh, you can use for your single abstract method means for interface that have defined only one uh, abstract method for that for that implementation you can do a normal as a class implementation or as a lambda expression so uh, lambda expressions uh, are uh, anonymous function or the functional literal you know functional literal means this functional literal can assign to a particular variable are passed to a particular functions are written from a functions okay so when you are going to provide the implementation of your single abstract method as a functional literal that means ki now you can pass this functional literal as a argument or return as a method from method or you can assign to any variable okay so here say uh, functional literals are functions that are not declare but passed with immediate an expression maybe with a val or bar keyword so uh, what are the lambda expression lambda expression so lambda expressions uh, is a uh, just uh, we have a one interface okay as interface have a defined one uh, abstract method and the lambda expression is the definitions of definitions of single abstract method that is defined in interface okay so lambda expressions and anonymous functions are a functional interface okay and uh, this is definition lambda expressions are essentially a anonymous function that treated as a value as a literal so any complete uh, function body of a single abstract method that is defined inside your interface uh, treat as a value and if that value you can pass as a parameter or return from function or you can say uh, assign any variable 
and uh, this is uh, any function that take input as another functions known as a higher order functions so basic uh, syntax of your uh, lambda expression is your uh, uh, simply uh, lambda expression you need a kind of your uh, open brace and curly brace and this is your input uh, parameter uh, what the single abstract method you define and the, what the definition what the body you want this is the body you here you want to place so this is the signature of your lambda expression Uh, so let us uh, look this how we are going to implement this so here you say let's key well object to equal to let's key you have a my interface and here you can define your uh, your input types this println i am from and from lm da xp one so this is the way you can uh, here uh, you don't need to define any method now you can pass the same this uh, as a your uh, use expression here you can pass your object to in this way you can say ki we are able to pass no it's clear so this is the one interface first way normal way we implement this interface from your particular class and override and you so you how to use first uh, we are creating the object of this class and then pass this interface because this uh, use interface is the need object of your this my interface so here you are passing so instead of creating complete methods and creating object and then again passing uh, to a, to a, uh, inside your user interface we have defined uh, you know ki this is a functional interface so we can take functional interface and we have only one abstract method so don't need write a new class implementation class extend keyword and again override your full functions write the full signature in each everything only this is the your uh, actual logic you want Okay. so in this is your actual logic the full function this logical logic can just place here inside your open brace and curly brace okay so this is the way you can implement functional interface as so multiple interface you can pass or you can say uh, here you can directly say use interface even you can directly pass my interface and here say print it this is the second way so uh, or you can uh, implement functional interface with the lambda expression assigned to a variable okay and this uh, object and you can here okay it works so uh, this foo function this foo function is implemented by maybe your implementation class or maybe implemented by in a particular uh, object using the uh, lambda expression or you can directly pass inside your parameter this is the inside the parameter direct pass your function implementation right so this is the very concise way to write your code 
so here uh, you are uh, very concise let's key uh, we have defined another uh, maybe this interface uh, write another let's key uh, fun interface interface my interface interface let's see we have defined one function bar let's let take uh, one input argument let's key uh, let's key let a integer okay that's this way and this is we declare as a function interface okay and this interface so uh, let us uh, how you kind of, and this is the function that use the function use this one and that uh, take your input my interface one and here you know and here you say key we can a uh, input uh, dot bar function uh, that you have to pass let's uh, this function take uh, as a let's give a pass 100 so here uh, we have uh, how you can use this how you can provide the implementation here so if uh, let's key i want to use interface one okay interface one i ask you pass here implementation so this interface this interface name in implementation class of your my interface one and that take one argument so how to say you say my interface one take uh, take one input argument input input and that's a uh, print then and what about the business logic evaluated the input equal to dollar in so here you can also pass your input and let's key instead of writing this input here i take another input argument uh, uh, like uh, here say x integer okay two argument the here first uh, your uh, first argument is your x let's give value 32 and pass second argument uh, here your in x will be the passage here so what this user function is whatever the uh, input you are passing i am just going to the consume invoke the bar function so this is the way uh, this is your uh, consumes input okay so sometime your uh, functional interface can take an input argument so while implementing your functional interface your uh, curly brace your your input argument and your function body might be you have a uh, two argument then comma can might be two argument or three argument you have a different parameter as well as so might be case uh, we have a interface uh, that have a, you can say Take a two argument. Take a two arguments. Let's get A and the B. That tick, and then let's key use this uh, uh, function. And this function take a second interface and the uh, okay. And here you have a X and the Y input. Let's key. I just pass this X and Y two times here. This function okay in each case okay let's multiply by 10 i pass here so how to how to implement this functional my interface to you can use let's get two
So here first argument you have to pass a number. Let's say I pass 44. And second, you, this is the this is your interface. First argument to your integer. A second your functional interface. The functional interface you have to pass the implementation of this for two foo two foo two. When the bar function take a two argument. So you have to provide the implementation of this interface. So how to provide? I have to provide a interface. Interface two. My interface to the two are input argument. So yours, you say here say input one comma input two implement print other Oh, sorry. Okay. Here your A argument and B argument every pass. Give a Ted A and and A equal to dollar a that's print and uh, uh, b equal to dollar b okay so this is the way you can say you can provide the implementation of argument as well as so uh, lambda expression offer a you can provide the what say unresolved variable this is the your x why not compile why not compile it should compile <coughs> correct so you say yeah, it's evaluated, evaluated. So here say your uh, functional interface can take a two argument, yeah, can take one argument. So while uh, implementing, uh, you have to use your uh, interface name and your uh, open curly brace. Okay, if doesn't take, take any uh, if your uh, functional interface then does not take any input argument, you can just skip this part. If take one input argument. Your input argument and you have to use the arrow keywords and your input argument your function body and this is your maybe two input argument this is your body so this is the your uh, syntax of your lambda expression your uh, open curly brace and this is your uh, net uh, argument list and this is your function body and uh, that is the uh, arrow symbol to distinguish your input argument and the function body So uh, this is the way you can uh, define the maybe uh, sometime I don't want to declare some in sub uh, interface directly you can define like we have one uh, some variable uh, that have a take a two input argument and return one output the, this is your uh, uh, some type type CR types this is the some type and this is the implementation your uh, input argument and your output argument uh, this is your functional body so in this way uh, you can also define your function uh, let us uh, write a variable let's keep some uh, no generally uh, some uh, you can write a like a uh, variable and you can say define a type uh, types uh, would be maybe a string 
or in some let's key this is the you can define generally variable how can how can define variable variable let's key variable and your data types and the value what you want to this is the way of defining variable similarly here uh, we are defining the a variable that is the primitive data type that is the one integer object but we can also define a variable as the function type as well as so here say key well sum that is a non a particular variable this is a function type so you can say let's key function that function let's key take a two argument take a one one int int comma and let's give another parameter int what they return this function return you let's get so this is the type here you not define any function name exactly but and then here the uh, you have to provide the implementation of this so uh, this is the open curly brace for a lambda expression they take your a uh, a input a input and your uh, b input b input and what the body body let's say i want to a plus b so here your defined function now how can is function let's key we have a function the light key use use fun one uh, let's key that uh, take directly we can use here say here say uh print then you can say some function and some function take a two argument 3 comma 4 plus so some is a function that take a two input argument and what is the body body is the plus some you can also write uh, so concise instead of uh, you are going to declare manually interface you don't need an interface you just define the syntax this is the sum function that take a two input argument and that return your integer so what is the implementation implementation say okay, this is your uh, lambda expression implementation this is lambda expression implementation uh, this is your input types and uh, this is your functional body so this is the syntax of your uh, you can say uh, lambda expression so this is the syntax here you define your uh, any uh, variable and uh, here uh, variable uh, function name or this is a type type maybe integer float or any function and if this is the function then what is the implementation this is the implementation so this is the here this is your uh, well this is your uh, function name and this is your uh, types type is a uh, not a uh, any primitive number or uh, int float this byte type is itself a function functional interface that take two input argument and return output uh, uh, so where the function defined this is the define the function you say this input two argument and return the output like this way so this is the way you can say okay, uh, lambda expression is always uh, surrounded by your curly braces so please be ensured this is your lambda expression surrounded by inside and a uh, parameter declaration uh, in the full syntax go inside your curly braces and have a optional type annotation yes. so this is your input types maybe one argument two argument and the body goes after the arrow symbol Uh, this is the arrow symbol and this is your body and the infer the return types lambda not unit and at least the possible this uh, what the value return at the, what data type uh, this is the automatic compiler infer this is the two integer number and integer number plus and that return integer value so here we cannot specify what the return by types so in this way you can say uh as uh, sometimes uh, that uh, this is your function what is the function type compiler automatic also refer so you have a option you can your skip this uh, type as well as so uh, compiler is the uh, automatic in for the types so here here you don't specify the some function take a two input argument and return one output here you say let's key 
uh, you have option you can just say no i want to don't uh, let's give some one i want to don't specify the type type of this is automatic infer by here so what is the type types of two input argument and return one output okay someone so here you can unlock someone so here you first you have a specified your function type in this function this type here the this type a uh, compiler automatic infer from your expression so this is your uh, regular expression a lambda expression from here compiler automatic infer the what is the types of your sum the sum is a types of function that take two input argument show kotlin compiler automatically infer the types of a particular val or bar keyword by your context context here you are assigning your uh, uh, here you are assigning the one number so compiler no uh, this is also auto infer you don't need to specify here with the help of this value the automatic uh, types are identified similarly with the help of your ex lambda expression they identify your types of someone So this is the concise uh, syntax of a lambda expression that Kotlin support, and here is the options known as a trailing lambda expression. What do you mean? If your uh, in Kotlin uh, there is a convention, if the last parameter of a function is a function, then the lambda expression can be passed as a uh, corresponding argument can be placed outside of the parameter so here uh, what is the trailing lambda let's see here here say we have a one interface one interface uh, that uh, take one input argument and the last input argument your functional interface so here uh, while uh, consuming this uh, we have to pass here okay we have to pass inside your curly braces so you can you can uh, uh right uh, uh, might be let's give you can write uh, this uh, instead of uh, uh, inside just you close uh, just close here and you don't need to pass this this is also works so here this your interface this your interface uh, take two argument first your integer number second your functional input type functional uh, uh, interface so this functional interface while consuming while consuming you don't you don't need to pass inside your parenthesis this is your opening braces this is the curly braces so this is the rule for a trailing lambda expression means a function that take input argument as a la, same functional interface the, and that functional interface is the last input argument then you can uh, invoke that lambda expression outside of this parenthesis this is your close and now this is the second parameter so this is the first parameter this is the second parameter as a lambda expression so this is known as trailing lambda expression it's clear so we have a very concise code someone say what like this the you have your but if you look this interface take a two input argument one in integer number a second your functional interface so here here you are passing this a first input number and second your input number so this is the kotlin beauty you can write a code like this way this is known as a trailing lambda expression even uh, you can say write uh, uh, this way using even there is only one input then this uh, you can just remove and here you can use the word it so this is so concise so this input is already passed here so if you run this uh, 
so if uh, kotlin say if your uh, if your function if your function uh, take a two input argument you have more than one input argument and a last input argument is a functional interface then you have to pass this complete implementation outside of this parenthesis so here we do just close parenthesis and second parameter here kotlin say if we have only one input argument so compiler uh, declare one is it variable don't specify the input argument and this you can also omit here and you can just provide the implementation body and refer using the it keyword that's great so here so instead of uh, this is the way you can this is the uh, fold function take a two argument one argument your number second your functional interface okay uh, even uh, you can uh, pass uh, uh, this way as well just uh, just like as a paid past similarly we have discussed uh, Uh, similarly, we have a uh, discuss like uh, it. Uh, it is the so so the implicit uh, name of your single parameter. So, if any lambda expression take only one parameter, that one parameter are refer as your it. It's a very common that lambda expression has only one parameter. So generally, whenever we are writing lambda expression, the common way is lambda expression takes single input argument. So that while implementing, you don't need uh, like uh, write your uh, this way, this and this. Just uh, you can use it and what the business logic you want. So uh, here, uh, if the compiler configure a signature it out and it will allow not to declare only the one parameter and omit as well as this okay so here say you have a completely omit this your single argument parameter and replace this with your it keyword so this is the also beauty if your uh, functional interface take uh, have defined one abstract method uh, that abstract method take only one input argument at that times or uh, you can say default no input argument then this is your optional and you can use this one input argument refer as it okay similarly this main interface functional interface uh, take uh, no argument then uh, we have not passing any your input parameter, even a lambda expression. So this is the way you can uh, pass the very concise code. Okay. So first way, uh, you are passing uh, functional interface inside your uh, opening braces, curly braces, or uh, this is the last functional interface. You can pass outside. Or the function call or even one input argument you can skip your input types and use it okay uh, so if uh, go to this function this function are using the bar bar implemented your by you so what the bar this is your uh, implement this is your implementation of your uh, functional interface uh, okay uh, f1 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 that defined one function bar would take one input argument and return nothing and the similarly uh, you have options key uh, returning a value from the lambda expression you can also return the lambda expression value like here say key uh, inside of filter and uh, this is a lambda expression lambda expression 
and lambda expression you can declare any variable and that is greater than zero then returns a value or uh, you can say direct return this variable so they, they are this is automatically refer as well as you have an option you can return keyword or Kotlin compiler automatic find you can return the value okay uh, so similarly you can write a string dot filter and it and the filter take only one input argument so this is the word input argument and this is a string length equal to five then sorted by sorted by your it the one input argument and map it to the your two upper case so this is the way you can say ki it used for the a uh, method single abstract method that is defined inside an interface and that take only single argument that single argument is referred as a it and uh, sometime uh, if you are uh, you have a single abstract method that take a two input argument two input argument and you want to use only one value and you don't want to use the second value okay so second value you can replace with a underscore so if the lambda uh, lambda pi lambda parameter is unused you can place underscore instead of its name while giving the particular names you can just underscore we you know ki we don't use the first parameter we only want to use the second parameter here so in this example our this case this is our functions we are passing a two input argument here so let's see i don't want uh, i here i say ki i don't want uh, uh, first argument so i pass here underscore so here i'm only use the b input argument i don't need a so this way you can uh, pass let's keep 404 so here uh, your x argument here b you passing i will be writing this is the year 404 so that is the you can say option uh, kotlin say ki sometime i don't need the in the function body the one argument or two argument then you can just uh, name as underscore uh, so similarly we have discussed about the like a lambda expression similarly anonymous function uh, one uh, thing missing from the lambda expressions is the syntax about the present type up in the about the return types okay so this is unnecessary because the return types can be inferred by your compiler automatically so you can say if you if you do need uh, to specify explicitly you can use alternative so by default uh, say ki this is the fun function and that is the syntax so take a two input argument and return output and specify the function here this uh, uh, and r you can write the this way as well as okay you can see you have to return keyword and this is the body and uh, if uh, we have a single expression you can use the equal expression or you can use the, your open burlesque curly brace and close curly brace and provide the whatever the value and return the function so an anonymous function took uh, looks very much similar to your regular function declaration except its uh, name is omitted okay so in the any function if you not providing a specific any name that is known as an anonymous function and uh, similarly uh, there is a concept of uh, closure like in the last so a lambda expression or an inner function as well as the local function or object expression can access its closure so which includes a, a variable that declare outside of a scope the variable is capture uh, closure can be modified in the lambda so if uh, this is the lambda expression this is the lambda expression inside a lambda expressions you can use the outside of the variable this is some variable some is the outside of this lambda expression so you can use some inside your this and this is the way you can say uh, this variable known as a closure means key in close of the particular for is uh, lambda expression and you are accessing the variable declare outside of the lambda expression uh, let's example let's we have a uh, list of uh, number 
like uh, list of one comma two comma three comma four okay list of number bell nums okay and let's get there are some negative number minus okay this is your minus so you want to sum up all positive numbers so you say nums dot stream dot filter say filter uh, it one out of filter take one out input uh, input uh, greater than zero okay first uh, nums dot for each and let's keep for each uh, printer then I uh, just uh, you say input input equal to dollar it okay I will just print so first you are printing the all the input number are your input number but here I want to filter as well as filter a filter filter and filter say key it uh, greater than zero and you can only filter out all the number greater than zero so now it's clear what is the it uh, if you notice the filter is the filter is the function filter is a function that take uh, one function uh, that uh, take one input argument return the boolean okay uh, so this input argument t we can just omit it okay uh, you can also write if you look this way see nums dot filter and you say your uh, to be number take if number greater than zero uh, similarly say printer then for each for each you say key to be input uh, input uh, less than printer then so you can write this way as well as here number so in this is the both are the way same you are a seki uh, this is the uh, list of number from one number you are getting a one input number and check number greater than zero is greater than you do next for each for each get number and you print the number so this uh, filter uh, take only one input argument so this one input argument can replace with the it and this is the it and this is the it so this is the way you can say okay this can be completely omitted this can be completed omitted and replaced with it reason this uh, functional interface that function take only one input argument one input argument can be replaced with it and here we are talking about the closure uh, so let us say we have a uh, our s equal to initially zero and we say ki our uh, all numbers filter first we say filter number 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 greater than zero and then say uh, sum equal to sum plus it okay and and after that you say print ln sum s equal to dollar s okay so this is the way you can uh, give the sum of your uh, all the number greater than zero only this is the only all the greater than zero only. so this is the you can say concept about the this is the your s variable are you are using inside your lambda expression and this is considered as a closure means ki variable 
clear outside of this particular implementation class are you are using here so, okay so this is your implementation class of your for each function for each function take one uh, interface known as a, they take a function that take one input argument return nothing okay right so this is you can say uh, instead of uh, writing complete class you can write here say let's key class uh, for e s h h i m p l okay so let's see so in this is where instead of uh, writing a manually class first writing interface then writing class and implementing class and then passing this um, or you can simply pass in this way so uh, this is the way we can say uh, functional interface or a same interface single abstract method interface or a functional interface functional interface is the base for your lambda expression uh, lambda expression is the implementation of your single abstract method that is defined in interface and that uh, 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 lambda expression implementation come in the form of open brace curly braces and your all the input types input types input one input two and arrow and your body function body so this is the concise syntax and sometime you can if you're in uh, uh, single object method take only one input argument or uh, default nothing take input argument that time this is the, your optional thing you can skip uh, your uh, input argument and arrow key and you can write only your function body so this is a so concise way you are writing a lambda expression and lambda expression are highly used in the case of your uh, uh, stream api in the case of list of item you are iterating you are filtering you are foraging so all these are uh, uh, functions define uh, uh, take input argument as a functional interface and that functional interface here example here your uh, filter function taking the functional interface your for each function taking the functional interface so instead of a uh, in, in interface you are going to writing a own class and implementing the single abstract method here and if you again creating the object of this class and again uh, going to the pass this object inside so instead of writing that way you can say a flat you instead of writing this uh, for each uh, no for each is a function and last in uh, last input argument your functional interface so instead of uh, writing for each uh, for each and uh, writing a curly braces and here passing object so instead of passing object you are passing the complete lambda expression and lambda expression is the last parameter you can omit uh, this as well so here we uh, omit the input uh, parameter and you flat pass your this lambda expression so the due to the last lots of conciseness you are writing a very code very fluently and anyone can read and say oh this is so simplest with the code so uh, but code is simplest but uh, as a developer we should know ki why we are writing the uh, invoking a for each function and uh, passing it this way this is your lambda expression this is a for each a function any function if you are going to know you have generally pass your this is the parenthesis and what input they take something input take you pass something doesn't input take then again you have to pass this way the general way are invoking function is this way can we use this way yes if this uh, uh, function take only one uh, functional interface that you have option you can omit this and you can omit this and you pass this way and uh, you can say if uh, this is the region about the function is a uh, inline function due to that uh, you can completely write this way so here if you trying to say ki here uh, in case of our example let's take here 
here we have a passing this way okay but the, uh, this uh, function take one input argument what happen if uh, in the case of here in the case of here here that take uh, no argument that take no argument can invoke uh, without uh, this uh, open curly brace or not if you declare this function as a inline function inline function that time you can say this way invoke or you can say Just say this way. So now you are invoking this function that take uh, one input argument functional interface, but this is the inline function, so you are able to write code like this way. So this is the by a inline. so you you know conceptually ki how why we are writing a this code this is a not a like a, you are defining any function this is a function that take one input argument that take one input argument uh, that is the functional interface that functional interface uh, have a foo method you have to define this foo function so this this is the foo function this is a implemented foo function with a lambda expression lambda expression and you are passing those implementation inside the foo fun, uh, foo use, use interface and you can omit this curly uh, brace so this is the option you can write uh, this way or uh, this way or uh, this way so all uh, this is the one way this is the two way this is the three way. So this is the way uh, you can say if your uh, any function you can declare as an inline function. This is the okay. So uh, this is the a, any function uh, that take one input argument that is a functional interface. You can provide the implementation directly here, or you can. Uh, without any interface name you can pass your only body part or even you can this is the last interface so you can omit this parameter as well this is omit and now you are writing like a this way so uh, you know conceptually how this uh, kotlin uh, uh, written the code it's so that you know ki why you are writing this filter this way because filter is a function that take one input argument that is a functional interface so functional interface can be implemented this way and this functional interface is the last parameter so you can omit a curly open brace and curly braces as well as and uh, but uh, this is inline function so you have uh, uh, omit this parameter uh, parenthesis as well as like here you can omit this or open, omit this way, way, way so this is the beauty of, uh, you write a code very so concise and fluent way code okay here we have a list of number you are filtering that greater than zero and just some but code is fluent but as a developer uh, we should know ki what is the filter what is the for each what for each uh, for each if is a function that always function invoke from the function invoke from this way but why we are not invoking this way this this way because this function is your inline function and inline function you say okay, you can omit this and okay, you can omit this uh, here input argument is the functional interface this is a functional interface you can implement lambda functional interface so you can implement functional interface override the function Defined in the single abstract method by the lambda expression. This is the lambda expression. So uh, I think uh, it's uh, hope uh, clear uh, why in the Kotlin we write a code this way. This is the way only feasible in the, by lambda expression. A lambda expression 
can be used only that interface that interface have a single abstract method yes same interface single abstract method so here so here uh, just i suggest uh, to you please please uh, do some homework and try to write your own interface and define some single abstract method and try to implement the lambda expression pass some one argument two argument three argument and make as a inline function and then uh, try to invoke the function without open braces without the curly braces and until you are not writing a code you will not feel comfortable you know okay, this is the syntax and semantic but feel more comfortable after doing some exercise so, so this is my humble suggestion please do write some own lambda expression define some own interface and do some practice up and down line inner inline functions one argument two argument how to use it uh, this is the very uh, handy handy way you can say uh, take the help of the kotlin so here uh, kotlin is the uh, very kind of uh, writing a very concise and fluent code using the lambda expression a lambda expression is the implementation of single abstract method that is defined inside a functional interface functional interface is interface that have a only single abstract method here in the last i would like to say thank you for watching this video